Hello everyone, welcome back to Divine Journey 2, episode 28. What is this guy doing here? <laughs> um, I, oh wait, that's not my killing device. That'll do. Um, since the last episode, I, well, first of all, I made this shelf with all of our trophies on it because we were running out of space down here, but I haven't actually done a huge amount. I have made these travel anchors, as you can see, so now I can easily flip between these three things. They're, they're slightly expensive. Uh... So I had to catch three more witches, which means spawning three more witches. Um, and I had to make crystalline alloy ingots, which is this, and dark solarium, which is that. Um, I haven't automated those yet, so I had to do that all manually. Um, but it was, it, I think it's worth it for sure. So um, the other thing that I've done is I've started to tidy things up a bit. I put my... Um, <laughs> my ME controller right there in the very center. I think it, over time we'll expand this out and make it like a, you know, it'll have to be much bigger, obviously. What are you guys doing down here? Um, I've made a, cup, ooh, a couple more ME interfaces up here. So I've got three now with a few bits and pieces in them, mostly to make the machine um, these uh, chassis and things. Um, what else have I done? I made uh, uh, the sag mill ME interface. That's I've only added one recipe to it so far. And I also added um, an ME interface to this guy so that we can make processes. Although again, I've only added one. Um, this is gross and I'll have to think of a better way to do it. <laughs> Maybe run it through the floor and then like cover it. So I've got it covered in facades here. It's going up the wood there. Um, but yeah, maybe run it through the floor. I'm not entirely sure, but we'll, I'll think of something. I'm quite sure today. What I thought I would do is just run through my automate. Oh, I also made the ME interface terminal, which is quite different from the one I remember. I think this is a custom version of it for, it was meant for Omni factory, but I never ended up getting this one, I guess. I don't know. Anyway. Um, what I was planning to do is walk through the process of how we get everything automated. So if you look here, I can't actually make this yet because we're missing a bunch of ingredients. And if I wanted to make like 10 of them, we're missing even more ingredients. So the question is, you know, what do we do? How, we want to be able to make these things. You know, you need to make dark steel ingots. You need to make seared bricks. You need to make end steel ingots. Like all of these in things that we need to make um, because basically I want to be able to just go, you know, I need a chassis, give me a chassis and then it'll make it automatically. That's, that's the goal for today. And there's a bunch of different things that we need to automate to make that happen. So we have stone burnt automation, we have gear automation, we have the dye automation, the grains of pisality automation, um, and a bunch of other stuff too. The other things that I want to be able to easily craft is blank patterns, which I think we already can. No, so I don't have that automated. I don't have crushing these things automated. Uh, making glass hasn't been automated and this hasn't. So there's a bunch of stuff to automate there and also smart cables. We need to automate the creation of smart cables. So here it's mostly automating Fluix crystals because everything else, uh, uh, maybe we haven't done that one yet either. Or this one, or this one. Right, now redstone is a raw, in so basically we wanna make it so that the only limiting factor is raw ingredients, right? We should be able to craft the things we need to craft and process the things we need to process. And that's how the automation should work. So I think what we'll do, I'll start with this guy because this is fairly easy to automate. I should be able to make at least one of these. No, I can't. Okay, tin gears. All right, we need to we need to automate some other things first. So I think green dye, green organic dye was there, which should be doable. And I've kind of gotten used to doing the R thing. I, I don't, it doesn't seem right to me, but uh, I don't know. It is what it is, I guess. 
Um, and I've been using the egg one, even though it's um, just because I don't have as much slime as I do eggs. <laughs> Um, and then we pop over to here. Oh, actually, I could do it in here now, can't I? I could just put it in the alloy smelter. Uh, and then we can go... Oh, why don't I have it there? Oh, it's organic green, not green organic. So we can craft... Yep, so we've got a, all of that stuff available. I don't have cactus green smelting in place yet as a recipe, but we can make a smelter and uh, we can do that. But so, you know, we don't have to do everything all at once, right? That's the, that's kind of the point. Um, what else did we need? We needed tin gears. So I just got a whole bunch of tin going. I can make tin gears. Oops. No, you don't shift. You just click, right click. You shift, right click to go this way. So let's, uh, do I have, oh, I already have a bunch of tin gears in there. So let's just do a bunch more. Nope. There. And what else do we need? I think it was stone burnt, right? Yeah, so let's make... Um, the other thing I was thinking of too is the powders. This one, GP powder and RF powder. I wonder how this goes... Oh, festive powder. I wonder how this, this kind of thing... Oh, this one might be okay. But I wonder how GP powder goes because it's like a dupe thing. If I was to put this recipe in, would that confuse it? The other thing I was thinking is we could use an, an a level emitter and just have like a stockpile of this stuff instead. That's That seems to be a good idea. Um, and I was also wondering about the thermal conductor rod. Can I enchant it with like, um, I, I'm guessing not, you know, with... Um, mending or something that would be interesting i don't think you can it's actually not that hard to make though we could probably make this stuff relatively like if we need to make it again it's pretty easy to make yeah but i was just because it has the durability right i was just wondering <laughs> um so what are we doing first? Oh yes, we were doing uh, stone burnt. It needs polished stone. So we can make a bunch of polished stone and we can put it in here. And you know, we're gonna have to make speed upgrades and all this kind of stuff. This, this is where the series starts to probably slow down a little bit as we get all of this automation in place and all of these upgrades and everything like that just because you know now's the time to just take it slow and make sure we have all of the automation that we need so that we are set for the future oh i haven't checked how much we have in here it's been another 12 or so hours okay we got a bunch of iridium oh heaps of diamond actually wow i'm thinking what i might do is take out these and just have them like that and then oh the other thing i was notice too I can do that and then I don't have to have a a filter in here Let's see <laughs> that saves the filter uh, okay so now I can put that back in there I can put those in there that should be enough to make our me interface like so and then I was wondering Wait, what was I doing next? These are the things that I want to make the most of. So we need a lot more tin gears. Dark steel ingots easy. That's a crafting recipe. Pulverized coal, cactus green. Oh yeah, we were going to automate making stone burnt. Yes. Question, where do I put this machine now? I guess I put it over here somewhere. It's probably the most sensible place to put it. Uh, why don't I put it just here next to this guy somewhere. Uh, I'll put the ME interface there and then I'll put this on top of it. Something like that. And then let's, I forgot to get the ME smart cable 
This uh, travel uh, stuff is just the best. There, and then, um, oh, we also need, uh, I was also thinking actually of making ME conduits because these can be used at the same time as we use uh, these guys. All right, so I can do like, uh, take get rid of you, put an ME conduit here, and then I can put this here to like take the stuff out and put it in there. And I don't have to worry about having like two faces exposed. So oop, now we can do stone burnt, turn that into a recipe. And we also have to make that a recipe. I like how this thing automatically changes to the correct one. That's it. Oh, actually, I don't want rhyolite there. I want regular stone. Um, yeah, that's a new feature that I don't remember. That's really cool. So we can search for a resonator and we can put you there and we can search for, well, we don't have to search for molecular assembler. It's right there. So now we should be able to craft all of the stone burnt that we need. And let's just make sure it's going to work. Oop, what happened? There it is. And there we go. It's going. And so it should pop there and then it should pop it back into there. And we should have eight now. Yes. Okay. Next up. What do we need to automate? Uh, pulverized coal, that should be easy enough. Let's get some blank. Oh wait, I think I'm crafting, I can cancel that. Let's make some more of these. And what did I say? Pulverized coal. Coal. This one. So in a sag mill, I can put in Uh, wait, yeah, I'm going to do this recipe, but I'm, oh, what did it say flipped? So you do get extra output, but I don't really care about the extra output. And, um, you can do like, you know, nine for nine like that. I think that's probably a best, the better way. It's slightly more efficient to make the machine do nine at once. Uh, we can put sag mill like that and we should be able to do pulverized coal give me one and it'll make nine and we should get yeah there we go it's nice and fast okay that's good next up what do we need electrical steel ah so here's here's one of the things i was going oh here's one of the things i was going to do i was going to move this contraption and turn it into an automatic one um, that has a level emitter so why don't we do that actually how much what is what is a level emitter cost in this game hardly anything cathode this one is a regular stick and a calculation processor Okay, so let's uh, grab all of this stuff. Ow, ow. Why can't I collect you? Oh, there we go. Ow! Ow, why does that keep happening? I'm not going to do this here anyway. I'm going to move it to... Uh, I think I'm going to move all this stuff over to uh, the, the... What do you call it? The storehouse. Yeah, I'm just going to put it here. So it's basically going to be the same... kind of layout. Uh, 
where should I put it? Should I put it here or should I put it up here? I kind of feel like I should put it here. So we'll put the smelter there and we'll put the metallurgic infuses there. And I'll put the enrichment chamber dearly here. So they'll be inserting, inserting. And we gotta basically set this up the same way it was before. Uh, extracting. So, okay, you're already like that. And you should be output, input, infuse. Output, input, infuse. And you should be input there and your output there. That's fine. So then we want, what do we want? Uh, we're gonna need a bunch more smart cables to get over there, first of all. Yes, we can make a bunch more. So how are we going to do this? We could do it with, uh, I think we're gonna have to have an ME interface to do it. Yeah. So let's, um, I'll put the ME interface, I don't know, maybe at the back here or, I guess I put the ME interface right here because then it'll just push it straight back into the ME interface. But now we need to make sure, yeah, so there's that thing over there. We're gonna, I guess, go this way. We'll use our hammer. I made a new hammer. I, I don't know what happened to my old hammer. Oop. Uh, okay, we're gonna have to go under this one as well, I guess. Uh, do we have to go down one more? Yes, we do. Oops, there's our never ending, unending bowl. Uh, I should plug you back into there. And then this will be where our cable goes. Uh, hopefully we don't have to go up too much and we end up, let's go up a little bit maybe. Have I gone too far? I don't even know where I am now. Oh, I'm under the, yes, I have gone too far. <laughs> Oh yeah, because this this is where the path is around here somewhere, right? So let's head over this way. There it is. Okay, so it's using four. Uh, we're gonna have to change that out to be a, 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 a dense cable at some point, I guess. Okay, and this will get us at least part of the way there. And hopefully that's enough for the rest of the way there. Uh, I'm lost here. And we'll keep it at the same level if we can. Um, okay, so now it needs to go up there. Instamine is great. Um, and then Oh, I should have been making an ME interface while I was here. Four, three, two, oh no. Oh, wait, it is gonna make it because I went too far. There we go. Just. Okay, so can we make the ME interface? No, what are we missing? Dark steel ingots. Okay, so we can make a recipe for dark steel. like so get rid of all of our junk and this goes in the alloy smelter I don't know if I should use um, phantom faces for the alloy smelter or just make multiple alloy smelters 
Um, I don't know. It could go either way, I guess. Uh, the manual mill, I'll, uh, I'm going to throw it in here. We don't need it that, that badly. Um, okay, so that's probably going to take a little while. This one is the slowest part. We need to make some um, speed upgrades for this thing, whatever that's called. Speed acceleration cards, that's right. Okay, so now we put the ME interface here. And then what we need to do is, uh, I'm going to do this. And you're going to accept from the top. But what I'm going to do is, this is where the level emitter comes in, right? Unfortunately, the level emitter takes an extra channel. That's okay. And then you're going to be steel. We're on 282 at the moment. So when steel is Emit when levels are above. Now we want to emit when levels are below, say, 512. That seems like a reasonable number. And then you will have iron. Oh, actually, I should probably use this one too. Yeah, okay, okay hang on. Iron and coal. So actually, this one should be this one. And then, yeah, so this one will extract with signal. Green is fine. And, oh, I needed a filter. Two filters, that's fine. Storehouse. So, yep, and then you're going to insert iron okay and then you're going to have iron in you like that so the iron should go in there and then it will start to go across and infuse oh it's going to run out of power that's fine this is just a demonstration so there and then you'll go over to there that and then you'll go to there and you'll smelt it into steel and then eventually at some point we'll have more than 512 so this will stop extracting and then you know whatever's left here will continue to process until we get to until it runs out but that's fine we'll have more than 512 at least and then into this machine we will be extracting and we will be uh, actually, no, let's extract a different color so I can keep it all the same. There, and you will be inserting with a filter coal, and you'll just always be always inserting coal because you know we don't really care. So, oh, and then I gotta put coal up here, and so you should have 64 now. Oh, wait, no, we're going to make sure you're getting it in. Oh, no, we can't do it that. We've got to do... Ah, oh, boy. I hate it. I hate mechanism, how it does that. I can't insert and extract from the same. Okay, so let's not insert into that one. Let's insert into the side. Okay, so you're going to ins input. And I think I have to put it back again to make it actually recognize that it can input there. Brown. And now you should go up to 50, 64. There we go. Okay, the next thing we've got to do is give it all power. Uh, hopefully 15 is enough. Uh, I'm guessing probably not, though. Oh, maybe. Okay, so 
It's one, two, three, like that. And then this one is there. Yes. Three, there. Okay, now you've got power, awesome. And so now we should just always have 60, uh, 512, or a little bit more than 512, uh, I guess 512 plus a stack of steel. And you know, whenever we go below that threshold, we'll get more and it'll just automatically come into the system. That's awesome. I should probably put a conduit for uh, conduit, what are those things called? Cover thingy there. Um, you know, so we can speed all this up as well and blah, 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 that's fine. So that means when we make electrical steel, uh, this one, we will use this recipe which I mentioned before, because it's cheaper. That does mean we need to set up the induction smelter. And we probably want to upgrade the speed of this because it's super duper slow. Um, so let's get another ME interface. Can we do it? Yes, we can. So good being able to just auto craft things. <laughs> Um, so yeah, this is this episode. Um, I'm probably going to end it soon. Uh, th this is actually the first episode of the whole series where there hasn't been a single cut. <laughs> um, but basically, this is my plan for the next couple of days. Um, I'll be doing all this kind of automation of the stuff that we've already done. And um, uh, I don't think I'll make any more videos until I have at least the ability to make um oh one other thing too i learned is if i put an me interface like that it'll try and insert into there and it'll also try and insert into this uh inventory so i should probably just uh get rid of that i'll just put it over here for temporary um, and then we need to oh i need to hook it up so we need a few more smart cables um and then we will make this thing in and out there it already is okay good so how are we going with those smart cables there and here we go that should be enough i hope because we're almost already there oh no oh wait i can go this way yeah, this cabling is very ugly. <laughs> uh, I gotta go. <laughs> oh boy, this cabling is so ugly. Okay, and then we put uh, that there. And so we should be able to make electrical steel now. Like extremely slowly, but slowly is better than not at all. Yep, there it goes. Yeah, see this thing is super duper slow. But actually the upgrades are not that expensive. Oops, if I can type. Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Yeah, these guys. So this is pretty doable. This is pretty, oh wait, can I do this yet? Wait, this one. Yeah, that's doable. And that's doable. It is now at least. And probably this one is not doable yet. I don't know if I can make black iron. Dark stone. Oh, I can make. Okay, so that's doable even. And that should make that super duper fast, actually. Uh, and then you can also put augments in there to speed it up even more. So we can make this one quite fast. Um, but yeah, I think this is all I'm going to do today to make up for last episode, which was quite long. This one is going to finish on time. I'm going to continue my automation drive. And we are going to be able to, in the next episode... I'm going to be able to go enhanced machine chassis and the only limiting factor will be raw materials. So nether quartz, tin, cactuses. I guess we need a lot more coal if I wanted to make a hundred of them. 
I'll think about what to do about RF powder um, and GP powder. We might have to do something special. Um, but yeah, that's all for today. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.